Good morning, everybody. It is the morning of day 16. Um, I just left Brown Fork Gap Shelter. And today I'm headed to Fontana. Um, yesterday's big day set me up for a pretty mild day today compared to what I've been doing. I had about 11 and a half miles and under 2,000 feet of elevation gain to get to Fontana. Um, so I'm anticipating being there no later than 3 p.m. I am moving pretty slow today. Uh, just because of like yesterday and the last two weeks combined, I think are just catching up with my body. Um, I had some really tight Achilles and my calves um, are just really tight as well. Um, so yeah, I'm moving pretty slow, but uh, luckily I don't have much uphill today. Um, in yesterday's video, I didn't talk about it because I don't want to be like dramatic or all over the place, but if any of you saw my day 10 video, I was still struggling with that. Um, I have still been struggling with that. And yesterday, it kind of all uh, hit me, I think, because I know I'm getting to Fontana and it would be a good place to get off trail. If that's what I choose to do. Um, instead of entering the Smokies, and being potentially stuck on trail for up to another week. Um, you know, there is an option to get off in the Smokies at Newfound Gap and go to Gatlinburg. Uh, I think the weather is supposed to be fine. I'm huffing and puffing, but uh, there's no guarantee of that. So something happened and the road to Newfound Gap did close. I might not be able to get off and yeah, it could be a week before I'm able to get off and have an opportunity to exit trail again, if that's what um, I decide to do. So yeah, long story short, I've just, my mindset hasn't really improved much from that day 10 video. I still have all the state. I still have all the same feelings and emotions, um, despite me, you know, trying and continuing to hike on um, to press through everything in hopes that it would get better, you know, give it more time. But uh, yeah, it's not really going that way. And one of the reasons why I wanted to do this trail was to gain a better appreciation for what I have back home um, in my regular life. And I can certainly say that that like, reason or whatever has been met, you know, being out here has definitely made me appreciate uh, my husband and my home life more and all those comforts, you know, even living in a place I don't particularly feel like is home. Um, I still have learned to appreciate it. So. If I do get off trail, this wasn't all for nothing. I do think I've learned things and met at least one of my goals um, as far as, you know, why I set out. Um, but yeah, that's all I really have to say for right now. Obviously I have a lot more thinking to do before 
I'm walking through all sorts of mud right now. Um, I have a lot more thinking to do before I get to Fontana. Um, and, you know, I can certainly always zero there tomorrow if I'm not sure what decision to make yet by tomorrow morning. But, uh, yeah, that's what's been going on with me. So I'll show you a bit of the trail today. And you know, when I get to Fontana, I'll show you that. I have a resupply box coming from Jordan today. It's waiting for me at the lodge. So, uh, yeah, I'll check in with you guys later. I gotta sign off so I can work my way through all this mud. All right. What's up guys? Um, I'm just about ready to start my descent down into Yellow Gap or something like that. Um, and I just passed by two hikers going the opposite direction. I think they're day hikers. And they told me they left muffins and fruit and water down at the gap. So that's the motivation to get down there. I can certainly go for all three, uh, topping off my water. And uh, yeah, so thank you to those trail angels. Um, I will show you when I get to the gap, what we've got. All right, so I am down to the gap and here is the trail magic. We've got lots of bottles of water. A note, we got blueberry, banana nut, and chocolate chip muffins, apples and oranges. I'm gonna grab a muffin and I think an apple and I'm gonna top off my water. Thank you, trail angels, you're the best. All right, so I just made it to the top of my big climb for the day. I have a couple smaller ones left still, but Got to the top here, and you can see through the trees. I'm um, pretty sure that's, um, I don't know, is it Fontana Lake? Is that what it's called? Where the Fontana Dam goes through? Uh, at least that's my assumption that that's what it is. So, yeah, I think I have four miles or less to Fontana Village. And uh, it's just about 12 and a lot of that is downhill, but yeah, my Achilles are still killing me every step I take uphill or downhill. They just are screaming. But yeah, so I've been trying to do some more thinking throughout today's hike. And I keep going back and forth about what I want to do. Usually when I'm going downhill, I'm thinking, oh yeah, I can do this some more, push through the Smokies, see how I feel. But when I'm going uphill and dying, I just am like, yeah, I'm done in Fontana. So I don't know. I hate to take another zero tomorrow because um, that would be three in just a little over two weeks that I've taken. But today, particularly, I feel like the physical is catching up to me and outweighing the mental and emotional aspect of my decision. I don't think, I don't know if one day off though tomorrow will help my body recover enough or not. I know the Smokies are some big days. Um, with lots of elevation, so I'm just worried about my body um, being able to push through with this Achilles issue I have going on. But, uh, yeah, one last look over here. 
at the lake before I start the first descent. I still have, I think, two more little ascents up before the big descent down to Fontana. So I will check in at some point later. All right, so I'm officially on my descent to Fontana. Um, I forget how many miles I had, maybe like three or something like that. And yeah, I've been thinking about a lot of stuff today, obviously. Um, one of the other things I was thinking about was trail names. And I know some people have asked me in the comments, um, but I don't have a trail name yet. And that's likely because I haven't really been hanging out with people long enough um, or socializing enough to really earn one in any way. Um, and honestly, that's just kind of like who I am. Like I'm, I'm very introverted and I don't particularly love being around people um, all that much. And I hate small talk. So I tend to kind of be quiet, especially in large groups. Um, I'm just very soft-spoken and feel that in a large group especially, I can't really speak up loud enough or strongly enough to really be heard or listened to. So anyway, um, that's why I don't have a trail name yet, probably. Um, so yeah, I've been thinking about it and I think I'm going to be one of those people that kind of gives myself my own trail name since no one has given me one thus far and I hate just going by Alicia. So I've been thinking about it actually for a few days now and I'm thinking Freebird kind of fits and I like how it feels. Um, you know, I'm just sort of, I do my own thing. I don't worry about what like a larger group is doing if it doesn't match what I want to do. I'm not afraid to just like branch out and keep doing my own thing, hiking my own hike. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking I might kind of pen the name Freebird. Let me know what you think. I, uh, like I said, I've kind of mustered on it for a few days to see how I feel like it fits. And, um, I think it kind of fits me best out of the few that I've come up with. So that's not to say that I'm still going to continue my hike into the Smokies. I'm still thinking about that, but at least now I have a trail name. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get down into Fontana, um, check out the marina area. I probably won't do a resupply just yet until I've decided what I want to do. I'll get the shuttle to the lodge, hang out there. I'm thinking I might at least Nero at the lodge tomorrow. Um, potentially zero, but definitely Nero. And if I decide to go back out on trail, I'll just do a couple miles on trail tomorrow night um, into the park. So that's sort of my tentative plan. I think I just need to let my body and Achilles rest and mind rest um, to see how I want to proceed. So I'll check you down at Fontana. Alright, so here I am at Fontana Dam Road. I am walking down to the marina to see what they have. I guess the restaurant at the lodge doesn't open until 5. Um, originally I was just going to get food when I got there, but since I have to wait till 5, I figure I should get some snacks um, to hold me over till then. So, I'm walking down this magic carpet here and uh gonna see what they got and then when i get back up to the shuttle stop um there's a phone that i can use to call the lodge and they'll come pick me up so let's see All right, 
right, so I just got back up from the marina. Uh, marina has some pretty good resupply options. I didn't see what prices are, but they've got a good selection for resupply. I didn't resupply just yet. I need to take inventory of my, um, what I have left in my food bag. And plus I know Jordan sent me a box. So anyway, I just wanted to show you I'm back up here at the Fontana AT crossing area where the trail comes down and crosses um, the road. And there's all this information here on how to get a shuttle service into the resort. It looks like it's $3 a person each way um, to get the shuttle. And let's see what else. There is, it gives information about the general store, the two dining options, um, laundromat and US post office in the general store building. Um, yeah, that's about it. And here's information. This is the phone. There's a phone inside of this gray box that you can press zero and get connected to the operator. I think that there is an automatic shuttle that comes, looks like every two hours. Um, it's 3.30 now, so I just missed the 3.10 shuttle. So um, I called for the on-call shuttle, which is where you dial zero. It's $3 a person. And then there's all this information about hours. So laundromat's open till 9 p.m. tonight. I'll probably try to figure that out tonight. And uh, I'll be planning on going to the Mountain View Bistro for dinner tonight. So that's the deal. So I'm just standing here and waiting. Um, in case you were wondering, there are restrooms here. And I believe I heard a shower, but I don't know if that's true or not. Marina is down there. And then if you look, you can kind of see right to the left right here of my pole handle tip is where the AT catches back um, from this road crossing. So I will be back here at some point tomorrow, most likely to push on and see how at this point, honestly, um, I mean, I've got all this mental and emotional stuff going on, but at this point, honestly, my biggest hurdle is my Achilles because, man, they are tight. So, we shall see. Alright, so here is what my resupply box looks like. These are all things I could have gotten from the marina or here at Fontana, but I wasn't sure about availability and pricing. So I had Jordan send me some stuff and look how cute. He wrote like all these little notes on my dinners. And I've got some fig bars, Lara bars, my fave twin snakes, some tortillas with a resealable package for lunches. I just have to get things to put in there for lunch. A new container of noon, some gallon Ziploc bags, and a cute card with a nice note on the inside. Uh, yeah. So here's my room at the Fontana Village Resort. You enter, there is a bathroom with a shower, sink, there's toiletries, shampoo, conditioner, lotion, bar soap. Um, there's these laundry bags here. I don't know if they do laundry for you or not. I know there's a laundromat in town that I was planning on going to in the morning um, or later tonight. But uh, yeah, I have a two queen bedroom. Um, I'm gonna end up spreading all my stuff out probably on this bed because it's just me in here. Um, I'll sleep on this bed and then I've just got stuff kind of spread out. I haven't totally unpacked yet, but there is a fridge, which is probably important um, info for some people. And I'm on the lower level, so there's this deck 
um, right outside my door that opens up to the pool. The pool's currently closed for the season though. Not that I would want to go in it um, right now anyway, cause it's kind of chilly out, but pretty views. Overall, it's a nice place. It's um, a little bit dated, but um, probably way better than some of the hotels and motels I will experience further up the trail. So uh, I'm going to enjoy the night to myself. It's the first time that I've had like my own indoor space for me to like spread out and have my own space without having to share, you know, in a bunkhouse or whatever. So um, I'm looking forward to that. And I'm going to grab dinner. Well, first I'm going to shower and um, get all my laundry situated. And then I'm going to go upstairs and grab dinner shortly after they open. I think they open at five. I don't know what time it is. I just realized that that clock is off, but I think it's getting pretty close to five. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go grab dinner, hang out, relax. Um, I'm going to try to find a yoga video on my phone to do some stretching because I really need to stretch these Achilles out there. Um, causing me a little bit of concern for moving forward um, and pushing through the Smokies in a reasonable amount of time. So that's my plan for the night. I'm going to try to upload some videos and let me turn the camera around so I can formally say goodbye. All right. Um, I just wanted to formally say goodnight to everybody. Um, it was a crazy day, 16 up and down with my emotions. Um, I'm gonna kind of wake up and see how I feel, see what I wanna do. But I think I'm gonna try to push through the Smokies and see what happens. That's where I'm currently at, but it depends how my Achilles treat me. So good night, everybody, and I will see you tomorrow.